Thanks for tuning in to Behind the Scenes at the Hanover Theater. This is Lisa Conant here with Sarah Kelly, Queen of Woo. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. It's great to be back again. It's great to have you. And I have to say, you're not just the Queen of Woo and the Wooforias, but you also run your own music school. Do you want to tell people a little bit sure, about that? Sure, absolutely. Um, I have a school called the Worcester Music Academy. We're downtown Worcester, so easy to get to and close to all the wonderful things going on in downtown Worcester. And the reason Sarah and I know each other is because her music school is one of over 60 different woo venues, and we all work together with other museums, schools, restaurants, you name it, all information at wucard.org. And we put together, and really, Sarah is the one that takes the bull by the horns every, and it's really every quarter. It seems like time's flying so fast, and <laughs> right. it's more often, but we do these free Wooforia events. Do you want to tell our listeners a little bit about the events? Sure, absolutely. Um, like you said, they happen every quarter, maybe a little more often it seems like, but um, we do it at different venues each time. Our last one was at the Tower Hill Botanical Gardens, which was fantastic. Um, but we've done them at the Hanover Theater, Mechanics Hall, Beachwood Hotel, and places like that. And we're really excited about our upcoming one at the Worcester Center for Crafts. But it's a great time for all the venues to get together, tell people what they've got going on, and for all of our Woo card holders to come and meet with people and learn more about organizations they may not be aware of and there's food there's drinks there's raffles prizes it's a <laughs> good time to be had by all oh me oh my <laughs> so i love the name of this next wooforia isn't it like hot night in the city yep exactly and i love the fact that it's going to be at the worcester center for crafts have you been there before I've driven by it, but I can't say I've actually gone and uh, partaken in any of their things. It's so funny you say that because I think that that's how people feel about almost 100% of the 60-plus Wu venues that right. are on our list. You know, like you mentioned, we have Mechanics Hall, we have Old Sturbridge Village, we have the Echotarium, mm -hmm. of course, the Hanover Theater, all these great restaurants. And right. it's the type of thing that if you're either living or working or driving through Worcester, you'll look, you might see a billboard, you look, you might see the building, you, you might see an ad. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I am one of those people where I'm always like, oh, that sounds great. Oh, that'd be really fun. Right. Oh, I should get a group <laughs> of friends to do this or that. But, you know, time time marches on really quickly. Right. However, for our Woo card holders, as long as you register your card, which is key to those points and prizes mm. you mentioned, you also receive a very regular email update about some of the events that are going on specific for Woo card holders, some of those deals, some of the promotions, and these free Wooforia mm. events. Exactly. So tell us a little bit more. When is this next Wooforia? Well, it's next Thursday, August 1st, from 5.30 to 8 p.m., and if the weather's nice, it'll be outside, but otherwise we'll do it inside, and it'll be fun no matter what. <laughs> um, there's going to be lots of different types of demonstrations, from what I understand, glass blowing and cool. doing stuff with the clay wheels and, and all that sort of stuff. So it's a great opportunity to learn what they do, to learn about some of the classes they have coming up this fall, and then engage with the rest of our Woo venues as well. That's phenomenal. And it reminds me of when I was working for Paradise City Arts Festivals. And if any of you have ever been to one of those shows, they're amazing. But there's an entry mm -hmm. fee. Right. And for people, normally an event like this would cost some amount of money, especially with the free demonstrations, mm -hmm. especially with the activities. I have a daughter. I know she would absolutely positively love to go to the Worcester Center for Crafts right. to see exactly how the artists are and the master crafts people are making what mm -hmm. they're creating. It's a great opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. And so who are some of the venues? Of course, besides us, uh, the Hanover Theater us. will be there. You'll be um, there. Right. We've got Coco Benny with their fabulous cupcakes. Yum. Um, the Worcester Airport Limousine, uh, the Beachwood Hotel, um, Music Worcester, the Ecotarium, Tower Hill, um, the Worcester Historical Museum, and the Joy of Music program will also be ha doing some of the music for the event as well. I think their jazz group is playing. So. Very nice. Yeah, it'll be a little bit of everything. And isn't that the whole point? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else you want people to know? I think that it's important, again, to reiterate that if you want more information about the Woo Card, mm -hmm. go to WooCard.org. Woo Cards are normally $20. Are they less expensive at this event? They will be discounted at, at $15 uh, per card. And if you don't have one, this is a great time to get one at a discounted rate. And I believe the Center for Crafts is 
doing a discount on some of their fall classes as well. But don't quote me on that. I, I just think I heard that they were going to do that too. That's great. Mm-hmm. And the thing to know about the Woo card is it never expires. Exactly. So seriously, for $15, <laughs> people, you can go to this great event. You get some great food. You know, obviously samples. It's not like people are going to make right. a meal at this free event, but right. it's fabulous. Mm-hmm. And if you actually use your Woo card at any of the 60 plus different venues, you're going to more than make up in your savings the price of that $15 card. Exactly. And then every time you use it, just make sure you swipe it so you earn points. In order to redeem those points, you must register yes. the card. Exactly. And now we do have a little sticker to remind people, but if you're one of the friends of some of the original organizations that helped to launch that Woo card to the public, for example, if you came to the Hanover Theater and we had invited you and we had given you one of the first Woo cards, chances are you didn't register it because... <laughs> At that point, we didn't realize that that was an important communication piece for the program. Now, if you have any doubt, go online, go to WooCard.org, check to see, look, put in your WooCard number, look to see if you're a registered user, because if you've been using it and you're wondering why you haven't received anything, Mm -hmm. that's probably why. And it is a fabulous program, and I'm so pleased to be working with everybody, you and Maureen from Worcester Airport Limo, and we're excited to keep moving on. Any news of future Wooforia is coming up? Um, we are still working on the next one. We're hoping that it would be at Higgins Armory before before it goes away. Wouldn't that be that great? That would be awesome. So that's in the works, but we'll update you as soon as we've got that finalized. That's fabulous. Okay, well, Sarah, thank you so much for your time. Any, any special Woo deals for your students or people taking lessons at your school? Our deal is 5% off private lessons. Nice. And if you come to any of our events, you get points. And we've got one coming up in August at New Cafe, one of our other Woo venues. We're going to awesome. do a, a free concert at the cafe. So come oh. by, swipe your points, get some good food. Wait, wait. So when is that? Oh, so that's sorry. That's August 10th, Saturday, August 10th at 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. Is that a Saturday? It is a Saturday. Oh, perfect yeah. time to go to New Cafe. I've heard wonderful things. Is that right there on Chandler Street? Right on Chandler. Yep, exactly. Love it. And I think they have free wireless internet there, too. They do. And they have, I think it's a dollar off uh, if you spend $7 there. And they have great smoothies. I can attest to that. (laughs) I like the smoothies, free Wi-Fi, listen to some great music. Exactly. And who's playing? Are you playing? I I will be doing some playing. (gasps) Actually, I might be singing. I'm not sure yet. But we have several students playing a variety of music. Oh, that's great. And so out of curiosity, I'm sure our listeners might want to know, too, how do people find out more about programs at your music school? Sure. Well, you can give us a call at 508-635-6900 or go to our website at WorcesterMusicAcademy.com. That's great. And all instruments? As long as it's a standard instrument, we've got it. (laughs) All ages, little kids all the way through adults. There's something for everyone. So let me ask you this. Have you ever gotten a request for an instrument that you couldn't accommodate? I have. um, We've had, I think, a Celtic harp. Um, I've had a... A Celtic harp. Is that different than a standard harp? I think I might be a little different. We, we don't have harp at our school, but um, I think we've also gotten Native American flute before, too. Okay. Which so I, I unless, do. <laughs> unless it's the Celtic harp or another harp right. or the Native American flute, <laughs> chances are Sarah can help you with fabulous music lessons right. and use your Woo card for that 5% exactly. discount. Check out WooCard.org and we will see you at the hot night in the city and what what's that date again? August 1st. That's a Thursday from 5:30 to 8 p.m. Great. We'll see you there. See ya. Thank you.